Pastor Steve has had such a wonderful influence in, uh, upon Hannah's life. It's so fitting that he would do the commissioning today. It's truly an honor and privilege as we uh, recognize and commission Hannah this morning. And as we lead into this, I would share with you a brief biography of her life, which has been a very full one for the first portion. Hannah Hansen was welcomed into Lord's family through holy baptism on February 24th, 1991. She began attending Lutheran Church of the Risen Savior at the age of two, where she grew up as an active participant in worship, Sunday school, and youth group. She served the church as an acolyte, Sunday school teacher, and a circuit youth delegate to the 2006 English District Convention. In 2005, she was confirmed in the Christian faith, and she, her classmates, and confirmed members designed and mentors designed and made the Trinity batter that's hanging in the niche of this morning. It's kind of a classic project. After graduating from Rio Rico High School in 2008, Hannah went to the University of Arizona, was active in the LCMS campus ministry. She ran cross country and track, and in 2012, she graduated as a student athlete, co valedictorian with a BS in family studies. She taught for two years in Rio Rico, as well as continued her involvement in the campus ministry. With a heart to serve and a desire to experience other cultures, Hannah quickly accepted Woodcliffe member Don Leonard's pulpit invitation here to travel to Thailand with a media ministry called Project Video. In March 2013, she traveled to Asia on a short time, time mission trip as a PD service volunteer representing the Risen Savior. Several months following her two-week service trip, PB invited her back as a logistics intern. In July 2014, Anna left the country again, this time working with PB for a year. And while in Asia, she coordinated travel to brief volunteers, led Bible studies, and helped other interns settle in Chiang Mai. This gave Hannah opportunities to travel to many PB studios, including those in Myanmar, Vietnam, and the Philippines. More importantly, God used the internship to mature her faith. In June 2015, Hannah returned to Arizona, and two months later was officially accepted as a member of the Wycliffe Bible Translators. That, of course, had something to do with my glowing report. <laughs> but it was firm. <laughs> She completed two weeks of training at the Wycliffe USA headquarters in Orlando and then began her first Wycliffe assignment garnering financial and prayer partners to stay in her in ministry, many of whom are in this room today. God has blessed Hannah with 100% of her budget, so she will be released to her Wycliffe assignment project video, her assignment, that is, as project video administrator. Hannah will continue serving in her administrative capacity with project video, this time stateside, She'll be collaborating closely with the PB founder, Pastor Leonard, the U.S. field coordinators, and the newly formed PB Incorporated Board. Anna, an Arizona native, leaves the warm homeland and heads to the Minnesota tundra. <laughs> she wrote that. <laughs> she will reside and work near the Twin Cities, traveling back to Thailand at least once each year. For a while. 98% of the group here, I don't think I have to introduce to you, Thank you, Pastor, so much for that wonderful introduction. And many of you, I see your faces every week. Um, it's such a blessing, and I thank you for those who have traveled um, to be here today to celebrate what God has done in this last year since I've been home and through uh, my journey with missions. So I'd like just to take a few minutes to uh, um, introduce to some of you Project Video, and then also just to give you an update on the ministry, both stateside and abroad. So Project Video, as most of you know, is a media initiative of Wycliffe Bible Translators. It is not the only media work that, um, that Wycliffe does. I like to say we kind of fly under the radar because um, Wycliffe does a lot. We're very small, but Wycliffe does other things with um, the Jesus film and audio Bibles. So we're a, a small piece of Wycliffe. Uh, we have grown, though, in Asia. We are at 10 different ethnic partnerships, 15 different studios that span five different Asian countries. So that's sort of Asia. And then on the U.S. side, last year, we became Project Video Incorporated. And we now have, um, as Pastor Steve said, a board. And I've been Skyping with them every other week. We are so thankful for technology. Um, we span from two, two people in Minnesota, two in Wisconsin, myself in Arizona, and then um, Jasmine over in Thailand. So Skype is an amazing tool. Yay, video. 
Um, this is where our studios are in Asia currently. Uh, as I said, we are in Thailand, Myanmar, China, uh, Philippines, and Vietnam. And we're looking to expand into Laos, India, and Cambodia. So that's just to kind of give you a visual a little geography lesson this morning. So I, I speak of these partnerships, and uh, Project Video really is a partnership between um, churches like us and um, our ethnic people on the ground. And we really truly believe they uh, should be doing the mission work, the video work. So they are doing the hands-on, the nitty-gritty of video editing and reaching out to their own people with um, videos in their own language. So it truly, truly is a partnership. And we support that by training. That's what our office primarily exists for in Asia. So you can see some of our staff either bringing them into our office in Chiang Mai and training or going out um, to very remote villages to provide the necessary training um, to create those videos. So I want to just um, back up. Pastor talked a lot about it, but I figured visuals are always good. My project video journey started um, at that pulpit in 2012 when Pastor Don Leonard came and preached. And at that point, I hadn't heard of Wycliffe. Um, but I had been praying about a mission opportunity and an opportunity to go overseas. I had finished college and um, really was just looking for an opportunity. And it was Don Leonard's uh, line, mid-sermon, that said, if you want to go to Thailand, I'll take you out to lunch. And um, yeah, the Holy Spirit, I really thought, I mean, I liked lunch and Thailand sounds kind of cool. So uh, there I was, he was staying with Barb and Jean Hawk. So I went to their home afterward. I don't think we ever had lunch actually, but we had maps spread out all over their kitchen table. And before I knew it, Don Leonard said, um, so when can you go? And I was still a little fuzzy on what project video was, but I was excited. So that next spring break, Easter 2013, Risen Savior supported, I believe it was their second package at that point. So you can see right up here, uh, we're dedicating equipment before I headed off to, to Thailand. And that's um, Easter Sunday in a bamboo hut in Eastern Thailand, my first missions experience. So that was as a service volunteer representing Risen Savior. And then... Uh, when I came back, they invited me back, and I just, I couldn't get enough of it. I wanted to delve into missions more, and in 2014, uh, about, I guess it was July 2014, I headed back to Asia as an intern, and as Pastor spoke, I did mainly logistics. No, I'm not a video person, so it seems a little ironic that I'm working with the video ministry, but I found out that God uses all sorts of people um, for the role of Bible translation and um, ministry. So I'm very thankful for that. I lived and worked in that building that's in Chiang Mai, Northern Thailand, and in a very traditional Thai neighborhood and did Thai lessons and really dove, um, dove into the culture and, and loved my time there. I came back a year ago, a year ago, I think yesterday. Um, so it's been quite a journey since then. Um, I have joined Wycliffe Bible Translators and will be moving into my next role as Project Video Administrator. So I, uh, many of you have seen me around and said, when are you going? And I've been such a part of my, my team here and I, I just want to thank you for that uh, because I couldn't do it without, without each of you. So my next role is Administrator. And this is again at our office in Lakeville, Minnesota, so I'll probably live up probably in St. Paul, and I'll actually be living with a gal that I met in Thailand um, who is from Lakeville. So I met her in Thailand thousands of miles away, and now I'll be living with her near her hometown, so it's kind of fun. Um, I am leaving Tuesday, I think that's why I said that, but so what will I actually be doing as a project video administrator? Well, that's a good question because it's a new position. So I'm really in a role, um, I've said from the very beginning, anything I can do to help the ministry as it um, goes through this transition time of becoming incorporated in the States and also continuing to grow in Asia. So specifically, I'm working with Don, um, his wife, unfortunately, has has um, terminal cancer, so it's just been quite a journey with her as well. So I'm there to support him, um, to work with our U.S. field coordinators. That's the wife and husband next to me in that photo. Um, they live in Milwaukee area, so I'll be doing some traveling to meet with them, as well as local churches, um, just like you, who are looking to support the ministry in Asia. And also, I think Pastor mentioned, I will go back to Asia at least once a year 
to help lead groups um, and then also just to support the work that's being done on the ground there and kind of be the liaison back to the U.S. So at this time, um, I, I want to recognize Risen Savior for their dedication to Project Video. They have supported five packages. In fact, they were supporting Project Video before I knew about it, and I was in college, so um, I just want to give you guys a, you know, a big shout out because you are supporting the work on the ground there. And this role as a service volunteer, which I started out as, we have since had two more service volunteers. Um, I'd like to recognize Chris Bauer. Please stand. Chris Bauer went uh, with me when I went for my internship. Many of you know he was there a month. Um, and I stayed for the remainder of my year, but that was when uh, Risen Saviors supported that truck up there, and that allows our team to get to those rural areas to um, provide that training. So a very, very important tool in, in the work, so um, thank you, Chris. And I'd also like to recognize Darla Henson, my mother. Um, she <laughs> was like, hey, I want to come visit you before you come home, and I'm like, hey, you should be a service volunteer, and I can plan your trip. So that's kind of how it worked, and we went to North Luzon, Philippines, and she carried over projectors to be able to go out and um, do film showings uh, of the ethnic films. So um, she played a very important role last year, and we are looking for our future service volunteers. So any of you guys out there, or other churches who would like to support the work um, as well. I'm already starting to do my job. So anyway. <laughs> Um, I just want to thank our, not only our service volunteers, but again, um, Risen Savior and all of you guys who have supported me and supported, most importantly, um, God's work being done in Asia on the ground. We want to thank you. That's me with a bunch of sweet, sweet kids in, in the Philippines on film showing. So thank you so much.